What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our lower overflow hose on your 6.0 liter power stroke pickup. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include seven, eight, and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet and driver, quarter inch drive extensions, 19 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, hose pick tool, and needle nose pliers. Installation time is about three hours. Installation difficulty is a two out of five. Caution, never work on the cooling system when it's hot. The coolant temperature in the radiator can be considerably higher than boiling and the system may be under pressure. Opening a cooling system that's hot or under pressure can result in serious injury. Always wait until the system has cooled completely before servicing it in any way. Place a drain pan under the driver's side of the radiator and loosen the petcock to drain the coolant. If you have a short length of hose, install it over the petcock to reduce spillage. Remove the expansion tank pressure cap to expedite the draining process. The hose we're changing is relatively high in relation to the engine, so you don't have to drain all of the coolant. For this install, we drained approximately two gallons from the system. Close the petcock once the desired amount of coolant has been drained. Disconnect the wiring harness from the sensor on the air cleaner assembly. To release this connector, depress the black tab. Disconnect the wiring harness from the filter minder. To release this connection, bend back the black tab. Loosen the clamp that secures the rear section of the air cleaner assembly to the induction hose. Remove the two bolts that secure the expansion tank to the firewall. Then slide the tank forward to gain access to the hoses underneath. Compress the clamp that secures the lower overflow hose to the bottom of the expansion tank and separate the hose. Then lift the tank out of the way and set it on top of the engine. Release the latches that secure the air filter through the front and rear of the air cleaner assembly. Then separate the front and rear sections of the housing from the filter. Our donor vehicle had broken clips, so yours will look a bit different. Separate the rear section of the air cleaner assembly from the induction hose and remove it from the vehicle. Then remove the air filter housing by lifting it directly upward. There are two pegs that secure the housing to the vehicle. There are also tabs on the front and rear sections of the air cleaner assembly that slip into the air filter housing to make sure it seals properly. Compress the clamp that secures the lower overflow hose to the coolant hose and separate the hoses. Loosen the clamp that secures the intercooler pipe to the intake elbow. Our vehicle has a Mishimoto intake elbow and intercooler pipes, so yours will look a bit different. Loosen the clamp that secures the intercooler pipe to the intercooler, located just underneath the air cleaner assembly. Then separate the intercooler pipe from the intake elbow and move it out of the way. Compress the clamp that secures the lower overflow hose to the front cover and separate the hose. Then remove the hose from the vehicle. Install the provided worm gear clamps over each end of the Mishimoto lower overflow hose. Attach the Mishimoto overflow hose to the water outlet on the front cover, but leave the clamp loose for now. Attach the coolant hose to the fitting on the Mishimoto hose and secure it with the original clamp. Go back and tighten the clamp that secures the lower overflow hose to the front cover. Check to make sure that the hose clamp will not interfere with the belt or pulley. Reattach the intercooler pipe to the intake elbow. Make sure the clamps are positioned behind the bead roll of the pipe and tighten them to secure the pipe. Reinstall the air filter housing. Lower the housing into place and push it down so the pegs on the filter engage the grommets on the vehicle. Lift the front section of the air cleaner assembly and slip the tabs on the front section into the slots on the air filter housing. Reinstall the rear section of the air cleaner assembly. Lower it into place and attach the induction hose to the rear section. Align the tabs on the bottom of the rear section with the slots on the air filter housing and push the rear section down to engage them. Secure the air cleaner assembly with the four integrated latches. Our donor vehicle was missing the latches, so we used zip ties instead.
Tighten the clamp that secures the air cleaner assembly to the induction hose. Attach the lower overflow hose to the bottom of the expansion tank and secure it with the clamp you installed earlier. Secure the expansion tank to the firewall with the two original bolts. Reconnect the wiring harness to the filter miner and the sensor on the air cleaner assembly. Fill the cooling system with pre-mixed Ford approved coolant. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heater control valve on the vehicle's HVAC unit to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain a proper level in the reservoir and check your connections for leaks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, shut off the engine and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle is fully warmed up and the coolant level has stabilized, allow the vehicle to cool off completely and then top off the coolant. The coolant level should be checked once more after putting in some miles. Now that you've got the hose installed and you're sure the cooling system has been properly bled, it's time to hit the road for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.